Hey guys, hi, welcome back to another video. This is the first Code Forces contest of 2024, the Hello 2024. We're gonna solve the second problem, the B problem that is plus, minus, and split. So let's see what the problem states. So the problem is like you will be given a string S of length and consisting of characters like plus, minus, plus, 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 minus, like that. And uh, the size of this is like uh, N, okay, the size is N and uh, defined by ai equal to 1 if s of i equal to equal to plus ai equal to minus 1 so whenever they are giving input as plus we have to assume it as positive 1 whenever they are giving input as minus we have to assume it is negative 1 so this is plus 1 this is minus 1 similarly and so on now we have to do the following process to calculate our penalty now we have to split a into non-empty arrays b1 b2 up till bk such that the b1 plus b2 plus uh, until bk equal to a plus where plus denotes array concatenation so what does it mean is suppose you have many numbers here right 3 1 4 1 5 let's say these are some numbers b1 b2 means you can just uh, split 3 here 1 here 4 here 1 here 5 here, separately or 3 1 you can combine 4 1 5 you can combine you can combine everything together you can combine 3 1 4 and 1 5 or 3 1 4 1 5 alone anything you can do but 3 1 1 5 this 4 they have removed that is not possible empty array is not possible you just have to split this array in any format so those are called as b1 b2 and b2 k the penalty of a single array is the absolute value of its sum multiplied by its length. In other words, for some array C of length m, its penalty is calculated by C1 plus C2 plus C m until mod m. So what does it mean is, so let's take the same example that is uh, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. Let's assume that I am splitting it in groups of two, this is one. Now this is B1, right? So what do, uh, what do, what do I mean by that is this is if I took 3 1 I have to take 3 plus 1 into 2 the length of this plus 4 plus 1 the sum of all the b's uh, of a particular index and the length of this this into 2 plus 5 into 1 length of this is this so that is the value of p of whatever be the value the total penalty that you will receive is p of this plus p of this plus p of this so this is one penalty this is one penalty and this one penalty so let's assume that if this is p of b1 this is p of b2 and this is p of b3 so this is one type of penalty there can be another penalty also right i can do 3 plus 4 uh, 3 plus 4 1 plus 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 5 into 1 so that is also one kind of penalty so out of all the possible combinations we have to see what is the minimum possible penalty that we will receive. So that is a question. Now main important thing here is there won't be any natural numbers here. Always it will be plus or minus and we have to assume whenever there is plus or whenever there is minus you have to put as 1 or minus 1 only. So let's understand this with the help of an example. So here they kept plus only. So plus means what did I say? It should be 1 right? So 1 can be split into only one number that is 1 into 1 that is 1 1 is the minimum penalty minus 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 so if everything is minus either you can take everything together let's say if everything is together what happens minus 1 so mod minus 1 into 5 is what it is 5 or else individually they can take that is 5 now let's take this example uh, plus minus plus minus plus minus that is plus minus plus minus plus minus now wh what can you get from here this is 1 this is minus 1 this is 1 this is minus 1 this is 1 this is minus 1 for some change let's take all the elements if we take all the elements what is the addition of this it is 0 into 5 the penalty is 0 only now let's take uh, these three elements and these three uh, elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 right this is 6 elements so into 6 and this is 0 let's take this 3 and this 3 1 minus 1 0 and this is 1 into 3 plus minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 mod if you put absolute value means it is 1 again into 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 here but the minimum value we already got as 0 for this combination similarly and so on whatever be the value you take you can take it so they took 4 elements here and 2 elements here then they got as 0 this is also one value this is also one value main important thing is we already know that there are no natural numbers here everything will be 1 or everything will be minus 1 that is one observation everything will be 1 
or everything will be minus one. What is the second observation? If it is one minus one, uh, and also we are taking the modulus absolute value here, the minimum can be zero, right? It is zero. When can it be zero? The order doesn't matter. They did not ask to uh, show us the groups. They just asked what is the minimum value. So I can say that uh, if one, one, minus one, minus one comes or one, minus one, one, minus one comes, the number of negative numbers, if it is equal to the number of positive numbers, the answer is always zero, right? Answer is always zero. That is one observation. Now, if there is one number that is something apart from this we you can't group this positive number to any negative number that is one extra one if any one one more comes then also we can't do anything suppose i'm grouping all of this i will get a value of 2 minus 2 is 0 0 into 4 this is 0 now if i group here it will be 2 1 plus 1 is 2 into 2 that is 4 or else what i can do i can take this individually mod 1 into 1 1 into length is 1 and this one is also one. So what happened here? In this case, I'm getting it as two. If I group this together, that is one plus one, two, and length is two, four. So which one will I take? In this case, only two is possible, right? And what happens if it is a negative one? Instead of all of this, if I'm getting negative one, negative one, let's assume these are the some extras, okay? Here all one minus one, minus one, one, minus one, one, everything got canceled. I'm just grouping all the zeros together. Even if minus one comes, we are grouping it. Now, if I take minus one here and minus one here, what happens? This is one into one. We are taking the absolute value, absolute value here. That is one into one plus one into one, two. So this represents whatever be the extra values that come. The extra value will have only one positive number or a negative number because all the positive and negative will match. Somehow it will match, right? So this is two and this is also two. You don't group these two numbers. It will be minus two mod into two. It will be again four. So we are just considering only what will be the leftover values. So whatever be the number I get minus one, 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 minus one, minus one, minus one. What are the extra values? I will say that. I will group this one. I got zero. Then I keep going one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now, what is the total number? Total number, there is only one, right? Because this will get canceled. This will get canceled. This will get canceled. And this also will get canceled. So one only remain. So our only logic is we have to count the number of ones. We have to count the number of minus ones. And whatever be the difference that is coming between the two, that will be the answer. So how did we solve this? So let's see the solution. So what did I do? Whenever I'm getting plus, I'm incrementing my counter variable. If I'm getting minus, I'm decrementing the counter variable. So whatever number is coming as extra, I'm just taking the absolute value. If negative numbers comes also, I'm just taking the absolute value. If positive number comes also, I'm just taking the absolute value. So this is the solution link. You can just refer the solution. And if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. So, and finally, happy new year. Thank you.